right shoulder as you stimulate Schweppen and Chihu. And the other side, these are two points on the stomach channel connected to lungs and breathing. Place your left hand over the right shoulder blade and begin to massage under the shoulder blade. Press your palms back and then reverse, placing your right hand over the left shoulder, massaging underneath the left shoulder blade. Now we will repeat. Hand over the shoulder and go underneath the shoulder blade. Press back, hand over the shoulder, under the shoulder blade. After you push back any negative energy from your palms, we come to our Laogon point. Your right hand massages the center of your left palm and stretches each finger out backwards. This is considered an anti-aging stretch. From the center of your palm, we stretch each finger back, elongating the fingers which connect to the vital organs of the body. Then we massage Hegu massaging the fleshy part between the thumb and the finger on either side. This is good for headaches and other ailments. Take your palms over Chuepen and Chihu, which are at the middle of the collarbone. Your index finger goes above your collarbone. Your thumb goes below. So we hold on to Chuepen and Chihu, which is good for cough, asthma, sore throats, and hiccups. Two energy points within the body. Now we're going to preen like a bird, preening good chi up from the fingertips to your shoulder. Giving good chi up, then release any negative energy down out through the webs of your fingers and to the other side from fingertips all the way up to your neck and we release down, releasing any negative energy. Now we come to the Bashi points. We come from the tips to the fingers to the webs over the wrist towards the elbow. This releases negative toxic energy from the body, stagnation, which causes diseases. Then we release any negative energy that your hands have absorbed. Then we begin to fluff up good chi using the side of your index finger, drawing it up to the throat and the neck, turning your head from side to side. And change hands, giving good chi to the throat and the neck and all the glands. Then we place one hand behind the head and massage the side and back of your neck. This feels very good if you have a stiff neck and especially if you have a cold and you feel stiffness. This helps release that negative energy stiffness in the neck. Then we begin to massage the forehead to the temple. From the third eye to the Taiyang point, we massage good for headaches, wiping away tension, Imagine wiping away any worries. We come to Jing Ming, the inner corner of the eye and underneath the eyes. This is good for any kind of eye diseases, tension in the eye. We massage and go underneath the eye, clearing it out. Then to Yin Xiang, at the outer corner of the nose, we go underneath the cheekbone, releasing tension in the sinuses and opening up breathing. Then to the mouth, above and below the lips, we give good chi, which also helps the stomach, spleen, good for tooth aches and gum diseases. Pinch the lower jaw and underneath the ear for TMJ stress and trouble. Then we massage the entire ear from the top all the way down to the earlobe, massaging in between all the different crevices without going into the hearing canal. We massage all these points. 
Then we fluff up good chi in front and in back of the ear and shake out the negative chi. Collect good chi in front of your palms to wash face up to the crown. Then comb hair from behind, gathering good chi under the chin. Wash face, comb hair. As we create a protective halo of healing chi around you. Gathering good energy and washing face and grooming from behind. Seven times we create this good energy. After the sixth time, we open your eyes so that you wash your face and give good chi to your eyes on the seventh time. Then your hands come down, washing away any tension from your body, down your spine, down the buttocks, down the legs, into the earth and the roots below. And this ends our warm up. The five animal frolics are graceful dance-like exercises modeled after the crane, bear, monkey, deer, and tiger. They are a complete Qigong system developing strength, grace, flexibility, balance, and an abundance of healing Qi. The five animal frolics is the most ancient Qigong system still practiced today. They were created by Huato, who lived between 110 to 207 AD, often called the father of Chinese medicine.